Hey, Cider Crusaders, without a doubt, one of the most influential thinkers for me and for many others is Thomas Sowell. And he just turned 90 the other day. He's an absolute national treasure. So when I found out that there's a new documentary coming out about him, I was like, oh, we gotta, we gotta talk about this and get people fired up for it. It's called Thomas Sowell, Common Sense in a Senseless World. And I think we have a, a quick little trailer of it here. Uh, it doesn't matter how smart you are unless you stop and think. Thomas Sowell is a trained economist. He's a sociologist who has written books about virtually every culture that's ever existed. He is America's greatest contemporary living philosopher. Please take to heart the lesson of what happens when you vote on the basis of uh, rhetoric and symbolism and instead of using your mind. I mean, he's forceful in his opinions. He will not compromise any of his opinions for the sake of social politeness. I haven't been able to find a single country in the world where the policies that are being advocated for blacks in the United States have lifted any people out of poverty. Areas that are unpopular or they're plagued with false knowledge that intrigues him to see if that's actually the popular opinion is actually true. And often it's not, he finds it's not. The main thing that he's done, in my opinion, is to cause people to rethink their assumptions about all sorts of things. Uh, not just economics, but about race, uh, about politics. Uh, amazing. I can't wait to see it. Jason Riley's the host, and of course he's a columnist at the Wall Street Journal and a senior fellow at the Manhattan Institute. Mr. Riley, how are you, sir? I'm good, thank you. Really good to talk to you. So, gosh, so much to do here. What's your favorite part of the man, Thomas Sowell? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I, I, I like the fact that he brings a sort of sober mindset to um, emotional topics. Um, he keeps his cool. He follows the facts where they lead. Um, and, and he's more interested in, in, in being honest, having honest conversations than in being trendy or in today's terms, woke and so forth. And, and, and that's, um, that's something you don't see a lot of these days. There's a lot of pressure to bend to the fashions of the day and Soul is not someone who does that. No, you're right. He's always been so bold, but never rude. How do you characterize that? Oh, I, I, it might be a generational thing, as you mentioned. He um, just turned 90 years old, and I think um, you know he was raised to behave a certain way, and and that's that's stuck with him. Uh, I think you find that in a lot of older people. Hmm. Tell us about the raised part. What do we need to know about his childhood that made him who he was? Oh wow. Uh, well, it, it's interesting because he got a relatively late start, and and you wouldn't know that he's been so prolific. Uh, but Tom did not graduate uh, from college until he was 28 years old. Um, really? He was a high school dropout. And he talks about his sort of lost decade there where he uh, left home early, didn't have much in terms of skills, uh, you know, learned in the school of hard knocks for a while, uh, was drafted into the Marines uh, where he spent a couple years. Then when he came out of the Marines, he uh, used the GI Bill to, um, to first get his, his GED and then to uh, take night classes at Howard University in, in Washington, D.C., the historically black college. Then he transferred to Harvard, uh, uh, graduated from there, went to Columbia, graduated from there, and then pursued his Ph.D. at the University of Chicago. But um, so he, he was well into adulthood before he had his doctorate and got started as a, as a sort of public intellectual. Um, and, and so he, people forget, forget that or don't know that because he's been so prolific, so many books over the years. Uh, I just wonder how many more, how much more Tom Soul uh, material we would have if he had taken a more traditional route in, in getting an education. Wow, that was deep and insightful. I want more of that. Like, subscribe, get more.